a warm welcome for a now exiled Evo Morales in Mexico, where he landed on Tuesday. It was no easy feat getting here. The former Bolivian president said what he left behind was an orchestrated coup. Brothers and sisters of the press, you know very well about the new win in the first round of the elections on October 20 this year. That is when the coup d'etat started. We went through three weeks and at the final stage, unfortunately, the national police joined the political civil coup. Morales was elected in 2006 as part of the left-wing wave sweeping across Latin America. He was the country's first indigenous leader and lifted millions out of poverty. But last month, he tried to run for a fourth term in office, and delayed results led to reports of vote fixing. Protesters took to the streets demanding Morales step down, and police officers defected. On Sunday, Morales heeded that call, and the vice president and head of the Senate resigned with him. Amidst the power vacuum on Tuesday, opposition figure and Senator Janine Añez declared herself the interim president, even as lawmakers loyal to Morales boycotted the assembly session. We think that it's much more important for the country to be at peace, for people to be calm and to take into account formalities. I think a country can't go ahead without a state leader, and us lawmakers are in the obligation to respond to all Bolivians. Vandalism, chaos, not a single Bolivian wants more. On Twitter, Morales called her self-proclamation a violation of the Constitution. In La Paz, his supporters have vowed to keep up the disruption. He, too, has pledged to fight from afar. Yasmin Al-Sabawi, TRT World.